For the Chicago Sun-Times, I'm Lori Rackle, and this is Lori's List, where I talk about some of the new shows headed to TV this week. No broadcast network is rolling out more new scripted series at the end of May than NBC. A better term than rolling out is burning off, because this batch of premieres includes some real duds. The worst of the bunch is The Night Shift, a hospital drama premiering on Tuesday. The prescription calls for all the medical show tropes, stat, plus uneven acting and lazy writing. Freddie Rodriguez is the bean-counting administrator who butts heads with a rebellious army doctor and his ex-girlfriend, the freshly minted night shift boss. The hodgepodge plot feels like an Obamacare ad, rounded out with Melrose Place romance and strange stories from the ER. NBC would have been better off airing Chicago Fire repeats rather than fill this primetime slot with a series that's DOA. Thursday sees the debut of Undateable, a sitcom about a ragtag group of bros in need of relationship help. Chris D'Elia plays a 21st century hipster version of the Fonz, trying to teach his dorky friends how to have game. Since just about every character is neurotic, cartoonish, or annoying, you end up rooting for them to remain dateless. Undateable isn't unwatchable, but it's close. Few folks play creepy, like longtime Steppenwolf Theater ensemble member John Malkovich who doesn't disappoint as the eccentric, ruthless swashbuckler Blackbeard in Crossbones, launching Friday. The quality level of this 18th century pirate drama is as choppy as the high seas. Every time you start buying into the story, which basically revolves around the quest for nautical GPS, something silly or improbable happens and throws you overboard. The only life buoy that may keep you holding on week to week is the entertaining interplay between Melkovich's Blackbeard and Honorable Spy Surgeon Tom Lowe. Now that smacks of incivility. Then you misread my intention. But the key is no more, which means I have to rack my brains contriving new ways to butcher you. Set to the synthesizer beat of the early 1980s, AMC's intriguing new series Halt and Catch Fire takes place in Texas's Silicon Prairie, during the dawn of the personal computer era. A slick visionary, a down-on-his-luck engineer, and a rebellious prodigy take on IBM and other heavy hitters in the cutthroat race to build a new kind of computer. We're talking 1983, that's only 30-some years ago, but it may as well have been the dark ages when viewed through today's technology-dependent lens. And that's a big part of what makes Halt and Catch Fire such fun. 